Next up is rotational oblique lift. So you can see here, I'm actually rotating my whole body. I'm sitting back into my hips. So my hips are also working to rotate a little bit. And you can see I sit back. I feel the glute actually load and my quad load a little bit. And you'll know if you're loading properly, if you feel a bit of a stretch in that muscle. And then I thrust upwards. Now you can start with a slower rotation and even a smaller range of motion. And then you should slowly work up as you're comfortable to a bigger range of motion and you can go even faster. Now you don't have to do that all in your first time doing it. You can do a couple workouts slow and controlled. And then as you get stronger, as you get better, you can do a bigger range of motion like I'm doing here, really sitting back, loading the glute and fully extending all the way up above my head. Now in terms of weight, again, you wanna start pretty light and then see what you can handle. You want a weight that's heavy enough that you can actually feel your obliques working. And if you do enough reps, you'll feel them burn a little bit. Having said that, you must be careful with loading this exercise, especially if you have a history of low back pain. Poor form or too heavy of a load can irritate your symptoms. Next up, we have a half kneeling rotational oblique lift. So this is actually a bit of a regression and you might wanna start off with this exercise if you're new before you go to the standing. This is because instead of two points of contact, both feet, we have three points of contact, both feet and your knees. So it offers a little bit more stability. Now you'll see here that I don't wanna to be too lean forward and I don't wanna to be too far backwards feeling my lower back. We wanna be stacked with our joints so that my knee, my hip and my shoulder are all in a straight line up and down. So you can see here that I start with a smaller range of motion I'm slowly going deeper into my hips and into my obliques. And now I'm also doing a bigger range of motion up over my head. 